Hey guys, uh, uh, what's going on? It's uh, Marshall here, and uh, today we're gonna be doing something new. We're um, I'm just going to just basically listen to this creepy pasta thing here. It's called Deadwood Circus, and uh, I've never read it before. So hang on. Okay, let's just play the video. Okay. If you don't want to know the truth. Turn back now. All right. If you continue to listen to this sad tale, uh. you can't say I didn't warn you. All right. I bet you think circuses are all fun and games. They are. I bet you think all the circus freaks are people like you and me, who are having just as much fun performing as you are watching. Well, they are. I bet you think those freaks have always been like that. They, they have. Deformed. Yeah, and they, different, that is. They, they have. Yes. You think that clown with two heads was born like that? Yes, he was, in fact. You think yeah. that singer with the goat legs got the animal parts because she was born without actual legs? Yeah, yes, yeah. You think the normal looking guy with hair of midnight sky is just another performer who ran away from home? Yeah. <laughs> you don't care. I, I, no. You don't give a second thought to what the freaks actually are like. What the freaks did to make them join the circus. I'll bet you anything that you don't know the pain and suffering they go through. Alright. You haven't heard their screams and cries in the night. You haven't heard them begging to die. No. You haven't smelled the stench of rotting flesh. Oh god. You don't know anything. Not a single thing. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to tell you. All right. If you don't want to know the truth, or you're not strong enough to know, turn back now. Yeah. That, that's strong enough, I guess. Let's start with how those freaks joined. <laughs> but joined isn't the proper term now, is it? All right. Not with every single freak that was perfectly human and got kidnapped as kids who wanted to go see the circus themselves. That's right. Kidnapped. Stolen off the streets against their unheard screams, cries, and pleas for help. Yeah. They're kicking. They're hitting. Doing everything they could to get away. You should have brought their parents along. Only to end up failing hopelessly and becoming guinea pigs. I thought they became Before circus priests, but alright. There was a foster child with a dark blue hair that had finally found a home with a mother who loved him. Sure, he may have been poor. Sure, he may have had a rough life. Sure, he may have died if left in the streets anyways. Alright. But that damned circus... That damned circus okay. ruined his life. That damned circus ruined his chances and opportunities at living life. At living like an actual person rather than some bloodthirsty animal. Mm. But no. No, of course not. They had to take him. They had to take him at the age of nine. He was just a child when they injected him with all those, all those things. Okay. And do you know what those things did to him? Uh, do you? No. No. They turned him insane. Oh. Uh, Literally. Oh. Uh, he yeah. lost his mind. Mm. He became a legitimate cannibal. All right. He would have happily eaten another human being. Mm, yeah. A human being. Yeah, I, I, I know what a And you know what? Is. He yeah. liked it all. He liked the taste you can get only from human flesh. All right. Actually, he preferred everything to be cold, raw, and human. 
He enjoyed feeling the blood swell in his mouth and dribble down his chin. Oh, God. Isn't that just a lovely image? Y yes, actually. actually. And do you know why? I'm kind of hungry for him flesh now. to be experimented on? Why he? A poor little boy who had almost died on the streets had been chosen? Why? Because... It was because he was a child who had yet to fill his life with good memories rather than thoughts of meat, blood, and more meat. Now you have a taste of what I'm explaining. Now you know at least a small portion of the horrors. So I'll ask again. Would you like to turn back? No. Because I'm about to continue. But please do. There was once a little singer with the hair of pale turquoise. That girl came from a loving family with a mother, father, and two little brothers whom she always played with. The girl's family was considered rich among many, hmm. and perhaps it was the girl's extravagant clothing made of the finest materials attracted the ringmaster. Or perhaps the master heard her sing a joyful tune while going to the tent. Maybe it was her hair that felt like silk on her face, which was picture perfect. Okay. No. No, none of that was it. Oh. Not even close. Alright. It's because she hadn't grown up. So the circus only takes kids. Do you kids. know what they did to that girl? Hey. Do you have any idea? Go away. I'll tell you what. Okay. They detached her legs and none too gently. Then the girl, who was once known as the child with the gorgeous face, with a voice to match, became the girl with legs that belonged to a goat. Ew. Do you have any idea how hard it is to live in such a deformed state? With legs that aren't human? Because I know I can't even dream about how difficult that was. Just trying to imagine the suffering and horror that was brought to the diva who cried herself to sleep every night. Makes me hurt inside and want to cry as well. The pain. The pain would be so unbearable. Okay. And I'm surprised he made it this far. He must have a heart that is strong. But I'll tell you again. You can turn back. I don't want to. Okay. Because I can assure you, things won't be getting better anytime soon. I really don't care. The clown with two heads? Alright. Before becoming a circus freak, do you know what it was? Do you? No. Of course not. No one does. Not a single soul. Until now. Okay. That freak was two little kids. A set of identical twins. A boy and a girl. Mm. Who were inseparable since birth. They were best friends. And were always together. And did you know that they had a mom and dad? Mm, yeah, I'm Those pretty... kids had a family. They had friends. They had an amazing future ahead of them. Not really. But all that was ruined. All because they went to that circus. All because they didn't walk away fast enough. Because they were children. And do you know what happened after? After their screams were muffled and they were chained and strapped to a metal table? They got butchered alive. Oh God. They got limbs chopped off while they were conscious. And then they truly became inseparable. 
I get it. They really would always be together until the moment they died. Because the two children became one. They were sewn together. Lumps of flesh were strewn around them the whole process, and the stench of blood and death lingered in their nostrils for so long after. So long after. Just because they were cheerful children. But that isn't all. That isn't even close to the end. Okay. There are so many more. So many more tortured souls. So many children who died during the mutilations. The clown is getting way so too So many close. other children who wished with all their hearts that they had died. So many. So many unfortunate souls who had fallen into the grasp of the Ringmaster. You know what else? What? The torture didn't end there. Oh god. Being chopped up and turned into those things was probably the least painful in comparison to what they went through after. Oh. But considering you made it this far, I doubt you'll stop listening to this. So I won't yeah. bother warning you again. Don't. Do you know what happened if they made the smallest mistake? If they refused to do something for the show? Or even if they took a step with the wrong foot? Oh no. You haven't a clue. Not really. But see, that's because the ringmaster punished them away from straying eyes that may catch the sinful axe. What is that punishment, you may ask? Acid. Oh god. Yes, you heard right. Acid. The smallest misstep while under the ringmaster's power, and you would have the burning acid poured on your bare body. Every last drop. You think that's bad? It gets worse. Oh god. Not by much. But it does get worse. Oh. I know, it's hard to believe. As if the mutilation wasn't bad enough. And the acid? That's more than anyone should have to deal with, human or otherwise. But mix the two, and you get the worst pain of all. Okay. You rot. Yes, that's right. Oh, God. Mix the mutilation and acid, and voila, you're a living, breathing being. Yet you're dying. Being eaten inside out. Oh, God. I can't even begin to explain the horror and agony of what it feels like to have your body decay, and being conscious during every single second of it. Oh, God, that must feel painful. And that is why all those freaks want to die. Even though they're dying anyways. True. It's so slow and so painful that it's unbearable. They want to die a fast death. Even if it took a whole hour or three. That pain would be so much easier to endure than the hell they went through. But they don't try to kill themselves. No. Not ever. Why not? As much as they want their suffering to end, they keep going. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Because the circus is so much fun. That's why. They're pouring acid on you. So much fun indeed. You, they're pouring acid on you and, and you're rotting. And that is the truth. How is that? Every word. How is that fun? Every single damned bloody word. How do I know this, you may ask? How? Oh. <laughs> uh, wait. Because I'm the ringmaster. Oh. Well then. Uh. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty creepy. Um. I, 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 I thought, like, that guy was going to be one of the circus freaks, but he's the ringmaster, apparently. But, um, yeah, that still was...